this episode, we're going to walk through the structure, setup, and properties of a binary search tree. The first thing to know about a binary search tree is what it is. And how you can think of it is a visual representation of a data structure. And when you connect the search functionality, what you're doing is trying to create a rapid way that you can iterate through your data structure to give you a result. And so if that doesn't make any sense, don't worry. We're going to walk through every stage of it. The first thing we're going to do is talk first about how to set it up because that's the way that I learned it best and that's the way that helps me out the most. So to set it up, you're going to assign a integer to a root node. And so we put that up at the top of the tree. And so we're going to give it a value of 15. And we're going to put a circle around it. That is what is called our root node. So that is the root node. And everything else is going to be based off of that, whether it's to the left or to the right. So the next thing we're going to do is give it two different branches to its children. So we're going to have a branch here and a branch here, and they're going to go to uh, different nodes. The other node on the left is going to be 12, and the node on the right is going to be 20. There you go. Now, each of these nodes has their own set of children nodes. And so uh, to represent that, we're going to draw two more. And so we're going to have a node here, node here. And this one is going to be 10. And on this one, we're going to set it up with 14. And we're going to keep on going here on the left-hand side of the uh, of the tree. And so the, uh, the last one we're going to do is going to have two nodes. And it's going to be 1 and 11. Okay. Now, when we get to a spot of the tree where... It does, the, the node does not have any children. These are called leaves. So this, this, and this, these are all called leaf nodes. And what so when you hear someone say the leaf of the tree or the leaves of the tree, that means that they're talking about a node that has no subsequent children underneath them. So uh, that completes the left-hand side of our tree. And now we're going to go on the right-hand side. So uh, 20, the root, or the, the node 20 has a two children node. One's going to be a 16. And the one on the right is going to be a 22. And then 22 has two children nodes as well. And on 22, it's going to be 21. And the last one is 25. Okay. Now, the leaf nodes on this are 16, 21, and 25. And we have a complete binary search tree structure set up. Now, looking, talking about the properties, it's very important. And as I was writing it out, you probably saw what the sequence is and the way that has to be set up. This root node right here in the middle, anything to the left of the node has to be less than the root node. So everything over here, so we have everything on the left hand side is going to be less than the root. Everything on the right hand side is going to be greater than the root. Now if you notice, because this is uh, this has some recursive functionality. Not only is this the case for the root, it is also the case for each of its subsequent children. So let's 
uh, do something what we call uh, traversing the tree. So we start off with 15 and then we go down to 12. From 12, you see 12 has two children. 12's children, a child on the right is 14, on the left it's 10. The right node is greater than 12, the left node is less than. Go down further down the tree and you have 10, which is less than 11, the, um, the child on the right hand side, and then one, which is less than the parent of 10. And if you go and do the right hand side, you have the exact same uh, structure and setup. The really nice thing about uh, using a binary search tree is not only is it great to search through, and our, the subject of our ne next episode is going to be on how to actually iterate through the tree to find a number. The really nice thing is to find a min and max value. And if you think about uh, if you think about it, it's very easy. It's also very fast and efficient from a performance standpoint. So how do you find the minimum value of a tree? All you have to do is start at the root and traverse all the way down the left side, and you know the left root, the uh, the left node, the node furthest to the left in the tree is always going to be the lowest value in the tree. And uh, in the exact opposite context, if you take the 15, the root, and extend all the way to the right, to find the max, all you have to do is do that. You just go through the tree, traverse through the tree, go all the way, find the element all the way to the right, and you found your max value. So uh, great job if this is your first time learning binary search trees. Uh, if they look a little bit tricky at first, do not let that stop you from learning them. They are extremely useful in computer science. Uh, they're a great way to visualize data, and they are have a great performance value, as we're going to get in the next episode when it comes to search and uh, using heaps and different things like that. And uh, I think the more you get used to them, the easier they'll be. Uh, you'll become very familiar, and you'll be able to use it in a lot of practical ways as you develop applications. So uh, thank you for your time and I look forward to seeing you next episode.